Hello beautiful! Today we have something a little bit different. A, it's recorded, and B, a little behind the scenes. So what do I have on my vanity? And what am I loving right now? What colors am I wearing and loving right now? Um, and products. And uh, how do I have it all set up? Lisa D. Liguori with Simple Beauty Minerals, clean, effective, natural beauty, and a smaller, more personal beauty brand. So we're gonna get started with um, the couple of photos that I have for you. I've taken photos of my vanity and I've shown you the foundational products, how I have those set up and how I work with them, and my eye makeup products. And then I've even opened up my drawer because I cleaned it out. See, this was good impetus for me to like clean up my vanity, dust it, you know. <laughs> Um, and I showed you my eyelash and accoutrement <laughs> drawer. Um, so maybe next time we do this, I'll, I'll show you some of the other drawers, but my goodness, they need a good clean out, which is a really good exercise to do. <laughs> so that said, I want to show you what I have been working with lately. So I'm in a different room where the photos I took, they're actually in my vanity where I sit down in my bathroom and where I actually do my makeup. Here is my film studio and I have doubles of everything, but also not everything. So sometimes I'm taking and bringing upstairs um, samples and demos and then I, have, I forget and I have to bring them back. So anyways, I brought everything down here to show you that I had on my vanity. Okay, so I wanna get started with foundational products. What do I wear for those? So right now I've been working with Embellish. I really enjoy Embellish as a primer and I'm gonna show you in the order of how I apply things. So I've been working with Embellish, enjoying that because I really feel like it gives me more of a glow to my skin as a primer. And I love that it has these beneficial ingredients in it that also help my skin while it's, while it's makeup <laughs> at the same time. I love that it has kojic, kojic acid in it. I always wanna say kojac, but that's like, and anyone with me who loves your baby? Isn't that what Kojak used to say? Anyway, Kojak acid and, um, and, and a lot of antioxidant support, but the Kojak acid, it helps to actually slightly exfoliate. So there's glow happening while I'm wearing my primer. So I like to use that and I will use my big fluffy brush usually with my primer, which is my embellish. We also have the pure primer. I go back and forth, but right now we're just talking about what I've been enjoying lately. Okay. Then I go in and I apply my foundation. So I am currently using Selena Nadine in the Sensi Rich line, and it's the powder mineral formula that goes on like velvety and really kind of melts into your skin, and it's a more full coverage. I like to use a flat top or, I have both on my vanity, or the foundation airbrush with my Sensi Rich because it really works it in, and this is what I use today, really works it in and gets great coverage, both of these brushes. Okay, so Sensi Rich, I um, many times will wear neutral too, but I decided to switch it up and use Selena Nadine. And again, we're talking about what's on my vanity right now today. All right, then I move into concealer and I will, lately I have been enjoying the mini fluff brush with my concealer and I have just been using the powder concealer. I love the fair for my skin tone. We also have fair medium and medium. So I just typically will take, I'm not, this is not a how-to tutorial today, but I'm just showing you the mini fluff. This can be used for so many things. You could have like half a dozen of these and you wouldn't have too many. Eyeshadow, touch-ups. I mean, it's just, it's got so contouring. <laughs> you could use this for so many things. I like it for um, my concealer. So that's the fair concealer that I have been using. For a while there, I was using yellow and enjoying that with the Fair. Right now, I've just been using the Fair Concealer. I will say that every once in a while, I enjoy using a liquid concealer. And so the one I have on my vanity right now is the Han Liquid Concealer. I'll put the link up above. And so when I want a liquid concealer, I will use this one. And the other one that I recommend is the Bare Minerals. I'll put that link as well. I like them both. I like the Han. The reason I like this so much at first was because it didn't come out too gloppy and it didn't apply too much on my eyelid. I mean, under eye. So concealer. And of course you can conceal anywhere else where there's little, little spots <laughs> that you love to cover. Okay. Then 
I have both my contour and my bronzer. So I've been loving the new contours that I brought into the into this shop. I'm using the lighter contour powder and I will often use um, a dedicated perfect blush brush. It's different, different brushes for a contour, but this works really well. So that's the contour that I'm using. Is that contour? Yes. And then my um, bronzer is the natural glow. Now, do I do all of this every day? No, I don't. I just have it there for when I want to use what. These are all what's on my vanity currently. Okay, then I have one blush color. I don't keep a plethora of colors on my vanity at once. It drives me nuts. I will put tuck things away that I'm not using at the time. Um, and I'm saying this because I just have the one blush color on my on my counter and that's all I use. I was gonna say something, I can't remember what it was, but at any rate, um, so I'm using Shell Pink currently and today. I'm not gonna do any swatching today, but the Shell Pink blush is what I have and I'm loving on my vanity right now. My liquid foundation, I'm still working with, I am using up my old packaging, so you don't have to. It now comes in a lovely new packaging. Um, and so this I have in, this is the neutral, actually this is a little bit darker, I went with neutral 2.5 to over the um, last summer and it's still kind of fine. I, I, it gives you, I don't see any lines of demarcation when I use it, so otherwise I would stop and pull out a lighter color. It does give me a nice kind of glow though. <laughs> So I have my liquid foundation. There are days when I just wear a liquid or there are days when I just wear a powder and there are days when I wear both. Okay, so we're still working on foundational products. Lastly, for foundational products, um, I use, well, I have several things on my counter right now. So this, um, no, I'm not gonna do that one yet. So for finished powder, I am still working through my Silk Finish Powder in Beige, all right? And that I use, again, my big fluffy brush. And that's one of my last steps, all right? And I am also now playing with the new Silken finish in Neutral Beige. And this is my demo jar. So this is what is replacing the Silk finish. So I'm, I'm moving into that. So I have both on my vanity. I have been playing with Candlelight, which if you've been watching is coming soon. Candlelight is a warm golden finish powder. It can be used all over with that lovely fluffy foundation or fluffy powder brush. And I, today I used it all over the face and, and down onto my decollete. Um, or if you're watching the other day, I did it just as a highlighter. I just picked up more pigments and I used a denser brush show you the difference. The denser brush uh, lays down more pigment, so I wanted concentrated highlight. When I want an all over diffused glow, I use a bigger brush. Okay, that's the candlelight. So my finished powders and radiance powders. And then I have this on my tabletop. This was a gift that I had for holiday um, a year ago, perhaps. And Violicious is a color I often bring out only for holiday and I put this in and made it into a cream form and it was I was either a gift with purchase or a holiday set I don't know um, but I do love this as a dewy let's see if I can show you as a dewy highlight it is not for sale in the shop at the moment can't say can't tell uh, but I, I do have it on my vanity and that's what we're about right now very good so that was foundational face. Now I'm gonna go into what I have on my vanity for currently, cause I, I do pick, I move colors around, but currently this is what I've been living with. And some of these are always on my vanity. <laughs> some of these are colors that I use all the time um, for eyes and lips. Okay, let's see. Let's start with, oh, I'm gonna start with eyeshadow primer. So I most often use either my foundation, which right now is the Selena Nadine, or the Fair Concealer Powder as eyeshadow primer. But a lot of you were asking at one point about an eyeshadow primer, and so I picked up this Ilya eyeshadow primer and uh, to test it out for you, and I like it very much. It has a lovely, almost almond, almond aroma. 
I do like that. And so this is a nice, I'll put the link above for you. But anyways, this is a nice eyeshadow primer. If you're finding that the powder or powder concealer is not enough of an eyeshadow primer for you. So there's that. That happens once in a while. And then eyeshadow colors. Okay, so right now I have quite a few. There we go. Um, so what have I got? I have, I'll do a little swatching. I have Princess. And I have Silver Taupe. Those are pretty together. I do like that combination. Let's see. I have Soft Touch is the brown, the neutral brown that I wear quite a bit because it's sort of a cool, plummy brown. And I have Port, which is also, it's a deep burgundy or wine, almost brown, which is a great basic. Can you see how all these shades sort of blend together very nicely? Then I have Simple Basics, which everybody needs on their vanity. Simple Basics is a creamy beige. And then I have Whisper, nope, wait. I thought I had Whisper, but what I have is Bliss. I always have Bliss on my vanity. Bliss is one of those, let's see, where should I? Rosy, it's shimmery, a rosy beige. Beautiful color, very versatile. The other versatile colors that I'm loving are Almond. So this is an entire palette. And what I try to do is pull together a palette of colors that I keep on my vanity. And this is Almond. And last one that I have on my vanity is Cobblestone, which is a great transition color. There we go. Last one. Whoop. Okay, so those are the eyeshadows that I have on my vanity. Then I have two pencils. I have Grape and Black Coffee. I think black coffee is a great color for almost everyone. It's a dark brown, not quite black. Love black coffee and grape is a fun one, a plummy grape. <laughs> How else could I describe that? Then, okay, I have a collection of eyeshadow brushes. All of my well-loved brushes. There we go. So I have several blending brushes. Dedicated light, dedicated dark. <laughs> I need more hands. I have a really fine, uh, fine tipped eyeliner. Love that one. I have my slanted, which is I use for either eyelining or brow. I have this crease brush, which I use for smudging. I used to call it a crease brush. Now I'm, it's more moving more into the smudging because um, I have a new crease brush coming out. Anyways, two eye shading brushes and the blurring brush and several blending brushes. So I keep an assortment of eye makeup brushes at the ready. Almost into lips, but I have something to show you. We have, I have been testing. So my mascara that I use normally is the, also Ilia mascara really really like this mascara it gives you a lush eye lash and it has a lovely rose aroma which i very much appreciate i am testing out a new mascara for the shop and it also has a lovely rose aroma which i appreciate the ingredients are stellar um, really excited about bringing this into the shop so look for that soon Okay, now, lips. <laughs> I, on my vanity, now you know I have an assortment, well you know I have an assortment of everything, of lip colors. So on my vanity, I typically will keep two. Sort of neutral, sorry, eyeshadows. 
on my lipsticks, um, sort of neutral shades that I'll just slick onto my lips um, before I head downstairs. I have rose gold, which is what I have on right now. One of my very favorites, and so many people can wear rose gold. And I keep nutmeg. At least this, this is the colors that I'm enjoying right now. I do rotate every so often. Nutmeg, I like when I'm, I'm just going for a very um, neutral look or even more of a, a warmer neutral look. And I'll just slick those on upstairs and where my vanity is. And when I come downstairs, I'll often change lip color depending on what coat I'm wearing or what I'm wearing or, you know, what the hair did, <laughs> what every, the whole thing. I will choose a lipstick later. I also always have a gloss because sometimes I will just put a gloss on, slick that on my lips. This one is Perfection. It is a very, it's a shimmery, light pink, pink mauve almost. I always keep a door lip liner at my vanity and I wear it every single day. It's the first thing I do after I do my foundational products. I will put lip liner on because my lips, the definition has gone away because I've been applying foundation, which I go right over my lips. And uh, my Adore lip liner just helps to define my lips and I feel better as I put the rest of my look on and everything feels more balanced. This is the, the tester that I, um, the sample that I got from the lab when I was originally choosing a lip liner color and I'm still working my way through that. Ah, did I forget anything? Oh, you'll love this. This is, um, Cranberry Cobbler 2-in-1 Cream Crayon. I was experimenting with different wrapping around the crayon for some fun, you know, unique um, packaging. It didn't work, so I just took it and, ma <laughs> and made it mine. <laughs> so that's my little bitty nub of Cranberry Cobbler. And I think that is everything that I have on my vanity at the moment. I hope that was fun for you. Let me know what questions you have. Um, the photos are here for you to look at how I have everything set up. And I would love to see your photos of how you have your makeup routine set up. Is it in your bathroom? Is it your vanity? Is it in a closet? Like where, where do you put your makeup and how do you have it all set up? Is it in a bag? Just would love to see photos. So I hope um, that helps and I'll, I'll see you next week.